I'm Alan. And today we, well, just another episode of Let's Talk Tech. What's this, our third episode? Yeah, third okay. episode? Yay. No, it's fourth, I think. Fourth? Whatever. Fourth episode. It's another and great episode of Let's Talk Tech. Uh, today's segments are going to be on, our first segment is going to be Smoothwall, which is a, a Linux-based uh, firewall, dedicated firewalls operating system. Our second our second uh, segment is going to be on school laptops. What's a better laptop to get for you to go back to school and why you shouldn't buy some random crappy laptop off the TV? Just because it's cheap. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and our third segment is going to be wireless versus wired. Mouses, internet, anything you can think of. Yeah, why, why which would you one prefer is which one? Yeah. Okay, so you starting off? Okay, well, Smoothwall, like I said before, is a Linux based, it's an open source, free. Uh, unless you don't buy the corporate edition. Yeah. Dude, what's that, like $500? $500. $500. But it's free for the regular, for the regular version, it's free for 3.0 and 2.0. It's a, f it's a great free uh, it's firewall. It's a great free operating system. Now, the reason it's so great is because it is Linux-based. Yeah. And as we talked about, Linux-based is the best. It's strong. Because stronger. it is so hard to hack. It's very hard to hack, and it's stronger. It has more passwords and everything. And... It's just a great program, but the bad thing about it that's is... That's why Windows does not make a firewall. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do. I mean, that's why it's so crappy. But another thing is, um, the bad thing about it is you need another computer to run it. It's not yeah, like... Yeah, you can't just run it. You, you can't just run the... You can't just put it on your computer and run it. You have to have it independent. Uh, yeah, me dedicated. and Thomas run it at the house. We use the Smoola program, but we have it. it we have the Smoola on a separate computer um, that... Separate computer in the URAC system. <laughs> okay. Um, we have it on a separate computer in the URAC system, so we don't have to worry about that. But we also have it connected to a switch, which is like, what, 24 ports? Yeah. And it's 24 a 24-port switch. No, it's a 50-port or 100-port. Whatever. It's a switch. I think it's a 20-something port switch. And that, that runs our network. And that just runs throughout and the house. the firewall is the thing that protects you. So it's, it's the first defense against something you're trying to break in. So if somebody wants to hack your computer, Firewalled, right? That you have, yeah, they have to go through the it's firewall. It's not going to be able to go through. What it does is when you first get into, when you first start the internet, you have to actually connect. In a, even if you're using dial-up or bro or broadband or DSL, you actually have to connect and tell it, okay, I want to allow myself through the network. You have to put a password just to get into your own internet. Yeah, but it's more secure. Yeah, it's so that's what makes it good. more secure. It's more security enabled and everything like that. Other than when you just get on the internet, that means anyone can walk in. Yeah. And another really good thing about it is you don't need a lot of system requirements. So you can just find like an old Pentium 2 with like 256 megabytes of RAM and you'll run it fine. It doesn't need very much. It needs pretty much junky stuff. It's but as me and Thomas realized, for the people that know what we're talking about, for as, lo as far as SCSI drives go, you cannot use the Smoothwall 2.0 or 3.0 with a SCSI system. Uh, SCSI or, RAID, or yeah. RAID array. You can't use it. RAID array, SCSI system, don't bother using it. It won't work. You has have to, be, to buy the corporate edition, which is $500. has to be IDE, $1. and it can't be a mirror drive. Yeah, so don't even bother with that. But, yeah, it's a very good program, even though it's independent. And so, it's free. And it's if it is, because it's independent, I don't suggest it for the home users. For most home users, if like... You don't know what it, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't really know yeah. a lot In about computers... In order to do that, you have you, to have a switch. If you know even a medium amount of computers, you can run this. If you know how to install an operating system... Yeah, you, you can basically run yeah. this. The hard like part. Like we said, it's free off the internet. I'll put the I'll put the link on the our page, website. But it's smoothwall.org. You can download it free. You can download the manual, which will tell you everything you need to know about downloading it. And, and it any gives kind you of the, errors. Uh, gives you the ISO file. Yeah. Which it gives you, you the ISO file, which you need to burn a CD. Make sure it is a CD min It's either a CD minus R or a CD plus R. If you put it on a CD RW or a CD like a CD RW, it won't, the uh, CD does not close. So you can't boot it from that. It won't CD. be a bootable. So just CD. make sure it's a CDR. Yes. Okay. Um, um, what do you want? Anything else or? Uh, actually, let's go to a commercial. Okay, well, let's go to a commercial. One of our shortest segments. We'll be back in a sec.
think this is close to the babe? You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. The following is a public service announcement. Hi, I'm John Michael, host of Creation. Today I'd like to talk about recycling. Can we really make a difference? Each year, I use approximately 480 plastic bags from the grocery store. In the past, I've just thrown them out. Since starting my show Creation, however, I've come to realize that my habits are harming Mother Earth. So this year, I took an oath to go green in every possible way and to help promote a better understanding of what recycling really is. Why? Because I can make a difference. Now each time I go to the grocery store, I bring back my used plastic bags, a free service the stores provide us to help save creation by recycling our used plastic bags to make new ones. Did you know that over 380 billion plastic bags are thrown in the trash each year, ending up in our landfills? And cities spend up to 17 cents per bag in disposal costs, thereby wasting millions of tax dollars. What are you doing to save creation? Help reduce waste. Please recycle your plastic bags. On behalf of creation, thank you. One sec. Hello, welcome back. And welcome back to Let's Talk Talk. I'm Alan. I'm Thomas. Yeah. Uh, to our next segment, our second segment for today, is going to be on school laptops. Now, which, it's basically, we're narrowing it down to which laptops do you want to which buy? Which brands? Yeah, which, which brands are good, which brands are bad. We'll talk about that. We do have a list, yeah, which we're, we we're will gonna play. Show, we're going to show you a list yeah, show you of a list. The, uh, uh, the brands. And there it is. Laptop brands for school. We have Acer, Acerus, Alienware, Asus. Compact, Dell, HP, Levina. We forgot Mac. And Mac. And Mac. So we skip Mac, but it's in there. I'll add it. Um, so which laptop brand is the best for you in pricing and for? Yeah, what you want to do is don't look at a laptop, such as places like QVC and Walmart. Don't first look at that laptop and say, oh my god, it's a laptop. I want that laptop. You got to make sure it's got at least a gig of RAM, if not more. I would suggest in a new laptop, two gigs or more. I mean, if it's new, you need it, more than two It's got Vista, gigs. so probably you're probably want to get two gigs. Two gigs, three Most gigs Most websites, plus. if you buy laptops off the website, you get a free upgrade to Windows, Windows 7. 7 with an extra $50 purchase. Um, so, yeah, it's... Windows 7, yeah. like we said, is a great op operating system. Yeah, it's it's a, worth the extra yeah, cost. Yeah, Windows 7, we've already talked about it. So, yeah, it's as just watch our last one. Um, yeah. yeah, so, like, HP. HPs aren't bad. I have a compact. Which is made by HP. Which is made by HP. They bought the company over a little while ago. But, uh, so, like, I like compact HPs. I don't like Dells. Uh, the thing you got to watch... Dells. Dells. Yeah. Dells are okay. Dells are pretty good. But the thing about Dells is they're not that good. I mean, they're okay. They're okay, you are not making any sense. <laughs> they're, they're okay, but they're not the best. You can get better. What I don't like about some laptops are the fingerprints. Yeah, the one that Al has right now, the compact... It Let leaves. Me show uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, he has it okay. next to him. Okay, this one right here. This is, yeah, thank you. Okay. As you can see, it leaves That's compact. the black on the top, leaves a lot of fingerprints just all over it when you're holding it. You can see the fingerprints. You can on see it. the fingerprints. So Yeah, they, they're all over the place, so I don't like that. But I do have but a handy little, it does come with this little cleaner. cloth thing. Yeah. So I can take the fingerprints off. But the, that, is, um, that is a bigger problem with those. So you probably want, the Dells are better known for stuff like not getting the fingerprints on them. They don't have those cases on them. Yeah. But just make sure you have a decent size, de decent size, size for screen. A RAM. Screen. You yeah. want a big screen, 15 inches or more. The little will... screens are not going to help you in school. I mean, they're yeah. great for just carrying around, but they're so small, you won't be able to do very yeah. much on it. QVC is so. known for their, uh, known for selling laptops to you, has one gig of RAM in it, you don't want one gig of RAM. It's going to slow you up a little bit if you try and convert to another operating system in the future. You want something that's like two or three gigs of RAM so you can keep it for more operating systems to come if you want to decide to wipe it or put something more in. 
and they advertise it as such a good laptop, but it's really not. It's really an okay laptop with junk in it. Yeah. It's, I mean, it, 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 really, I just like, I just like my laptop when I bought it, it came with Vista, which I per personally don't like. I put, wiped it and put Windows 7 in it. And then I couldn't really get, uh, couldn't really, the, I wiped half the chunk out that they gave me. They give you like all these programs, nice, but here's the thing, that's just taking up more of your space on your hard drive. Okay, uh, a, a laptop brand, another laptop brand, Alienware, that we said on the list. Yes, I don't recommend. <laughs> they're amazing laptops. They're like the best out there, but they're highly expensive. They're highly expensive. They're not they're worth not the cost. They're not necessary. So, like, it's if like, you want to buy your kid a laptop, it's, it's almost not, like, yeah, yeah, it's like a thousand dollars. Unless you're for like RAM. some rich kid going to choke, don't bother buying your kid an Alienware laptop. Well, they're they like really a start at a thousand dollars. Start. Um. Oh, uh, here's our list again. Yeah, there's the list but, again. Really, Alienware, I mean, it's a pretty good laptop. They're it's very good. It's they're top amazing. of the line, one terabyte hard drives. And they're great if you're going to school and you're a gamer. But, again... Yeah, it, it, like, my laptop's good for gaming. My laptop's good for video editing. It's all good for what I do, and I got it for really cheap. So, yeah. it doesn't really matter on that, as long as you, like... As long as, you, as, long as it has a good amount of RAM, good amount of hard drive space. I think mine's, like, 132, 132 gigs. Um, and it's got three gigs of RAM. That's all you need. Yeah, really. If you want to get a desktop for a college, which I know some parents get their kids desktops instead of laptops, which I really don't recommend either. I'd rather You don't get, have the space to put in yeah. a desktop. But if you have a desktop, it's easier to upgrade stuff. Um, but if you get a desktop, just make sure it's the same kind of requirements, three gigs of RAM, um, you know, good hard drive space, and then they can always plug in an external hard drive. Yeah. 1.5. Terabyte, hard terabyte drive. is like a yeah. hundred dollars. It's yeah. not that hard. Um, yeah, and, and then just for the conversion, a thousand gigabytes is a terabyte. Just so, just for the conversion. Yeah. So yeah, it'd probably be better just to get a regular Dell or a HP. It'd probably be better to do something like that instead of getting an Alienware. A new, a newer thing that just came out is the MacBook Pro, and that's a pretty good laptop that, for school. I've never, we, me and Thomas, I have to admit, we've never used Macs. I would like to get my hands on a Mac if anyone's willing to let me mess around with their Mac or give me a free Mac, that would be nice. Even an older Mac, that would be nice too. But um, I haven't really messed around with Macs too often, so we can't really say much about it. But people do say they like Macs. A lot of people are fans of Macs. As far as I can tell, I've read a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's like one of the best things for school. I mean, it's really well, easy, it, really reliable. They say it's really good for school. But what I don't get is that the hardware... It's not the best for gaming. Yeah. Uh, the It's not the best for gaming. It, it, and really, if you're going to school, I'm sure parents buy the Mac so the kids don't use it for gaming at yeah. school. <laughs> but, you know, it's... If you're going to do you know, straight work, I mean, if you really just want to work, I mean, the iWork program is a great program. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a uh, Max or there's, there's, there's stuff, there's stuff in Macs that are good and there's stuff that are in Windows that are good. But if you want to run a lot of programs, I suggest just using uh, a, a, a PC, uh, a Windows, a Windows based laptop. Uh, you could put Linux on it, throw Linux on it. It really doesn't matter. I don't recommend putting Linux on it because of the whole fact that well, you can a lot buy, of programs don't run on it. You can buy laptops called bare bone laptops. You could buy them bare bone or you could buy them with a Linux operating system. And, and they're, they're actually cheaper, cheaper. and they're you can buy it off Dell, and it's a it's uh it's a basically a cheaper, it's much cheaper to buy it with Linux than and with Windows. And it's easier if you're gonna wipe the computer yeah. and put like XP or something where you can't find it anymore. So if you know what you're doing, then buy a Linux one and then buy that one for a lower price, and then you can just use that. Uh, okay. Do you um, want to? No. Anything uh, else? Other laptops. Uh, what what else? Well, there's like we said the Levino. The Levino, Levino laptop. That's a cheaper version we, of our Dell. Friend, They're great. Our friend, uh, one of our good know, friends. Tech, tech people. <laughs> <laughs> really good tech <laughs> Not person. of the show, but one of our other tech friends. Phil. Um, yeah, Phil. Philip Cook. Hello. Hey. Um, yeah. So um, he had a Levino that he got from his college. For his school. Yeah, for his school. And it's a good laptop. It's, it's, a, it's a great laptop. Yeah. It's basically a, a good, a, so basically just a good what, laptop. So basically, basically what we're saying Dell. is that it doesn't matter on the brand of laptop that you buy. It depends on what's in the laptop that counts. It's not the outside. And the Levino, because it's it's basically a good Dell, but because it's not the brand name yeah. Dell, it's a lot yeah. cheaper than buying it. And Dell, so. it does kind of matter with the heating issue. Some laptops overheat more than others. I've heard Dell's and then the charging working on that issue. hard. 
the charging issue where you got to yeah, keep a good charge. Issue. Well, it, it depends on if you buy a six cell battery. Six cell batteries Hold usually what, three last hours? you about no uh, about two and a half hours. Mine last mine six cell. Okay. It was for about two and a half. Uh, nine hours for nine no yeah nine hours for a uh, nine cell battery. And then you could get higher than that. You can also get boosts. You get like a boost battery to Extra connect batteries, to it. Extra batteries, yeah. yeah. Uh, you could buy other batteries and then just swap it out when you have to. Uh, but yeah, it's it really depends on that. But it really depends on the uh, what's in the computer other than what the outside looks like. Um, you want to go to commercial now? We're going to go to a commercial. Okay, commercial. <laughs> and, and we'll, we'll be back. back. The Cub Scouts, which was started in 1930, is the largest division of the Boy Scouts of America. It is a year-round family program designed for boys who are in the first through fifth grade. Its purpose is to provide activities for boys not old enough to join the Boy Scouts. Cub Scouting means doing. Everything in Cub Scouting is designed to have the boys doing things. It is aimed at citizenship, training, character development, and personal fitness. Some of the activities that are used to achieve these goals include academics, sports events, and camping. To learn more on how to participate in the Cub Scouts, visit www.scouting.org. That's www.scouting.org. This is close to the babe. You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. Ghosts and goblins, scary as can be. That's what you'll find. Just wait and see. For the Halloween spirit, it's in the air. Brewing in Wallingford. Come if you dare. Join the X at the Trail of Terror. One of New England's premier outdoor haunted trails is back from dusk to 11 p.m. every weekend in October. Sponsored by Hot 93.7, 96.5 TIC-FM, WTIC News Talk 1080, WRCH, Light 100.5 FM, and the X, WCTX. Ha! Welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. Yep, I'm Alan. I'm Thomas, once again. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was so awesome. <laughs> I'm Thomas, you're Alan. <laughs> that was sick. Okay, um, so welcome back. Uh, this segment is going to be on wireless versus wired, pretty much anything. Uh, keyboards, mouses, yeah. would internet. Would you prefer to have the wireless or the wired? What, what would you, what, what do you, what do you like the best? Why do we prefer to have it wireless or wired? Okay, so we're going to start off with mouses. Which one's better? Um, wireless or wired? The wired gets annoying because when you're scrolling around, I mean, the mouse at the top oh, part, man. it'll get caught yeah. or well, it'll get, just get annoying. Well, what I don't like about the wireless, about the wireless mice, is that the batteries, like my, my wireless mouse, I have... Most are efficient, but yeah. older ones are really bad on battery life. Yeah. Like, three weeks well, went that's, for that's two yours, batteries. Thomas. That's mine is, yours. Mine is the I worst. Just bought one, I just bought one, and uh, it goes, I think it's an, I think it's an HP mouse. And it was, and it only go. It goes for six months of battery life, with one double A battery. His goes for three well, weeks with goes two double A batteries. Goes for three weeks with two double A batteries, but his is a much older wireless mouse. As for our father, our father has a uh, charger in the uh, right on top, and he can just take the mouse so, and put it right on the charger, which yeah, I like. It's a lot of tech. It's, uh, a, it's like that? made for gaming. That was a lot of money. And you get well, he got it for free. Yeah. But anyway, he's so you get you you get to like scroll around and your keyboard has a one AAA cell battery. It doesn't take very one, 
and then there's one receiver. You put the mouse yep. back on it, it charges. You don't need batteries. It's amazing. Now, now the next thing is is that well, I don't. The next thing is they, they're they, you can hack wireless, and I'm not just talking about internet. I'm talking about mice. Not really. I don't. You, if you sat down, you could hack somebody's mouse. I, I don't. I don't think nobody would really want to hack I, the mouse. I know. I know. Well, I'm sure if somebody came up with some devil plan. They I'm could sure do it, you can pick up the signal somehow because it's just yeah. a wireless. Well, but, but it, I don't get yeah, why yeah, anybody have to would work hard because because uh, of the transmission and everything. It would. Be, there would be no point to yeah, it. Why would somebody good, hack the yeah. mouse? Yeah. There would. But there would be. Yeah. Oh, okay. It would take there's, time. There's but, remote desktops for that, yeah. Alan. Well, yeah. Mm. Uh, um, but. Uh, yeah, but for the internet, that's a big issue. Yeah, the internet's a huge issue. If but you have a... We're on mouses. What? We're still on mouses. Oh, we're still on mouses. Let's oh, do it. okay. Right. You want to do it? Okay, go All ahead. Right. Well, with the mouses, another thing about the mouses is it loses connection. You'll be just moving your mouse and on, like a desktop or something's in the way. It'll just stop working. Yeah. So it'll, it'll skip. And it's kind of annoying, you know, because you'll be like playing a game. Yeah. And you'll be sitting there, click, 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 die, die, well, die, the fail. The thing with the wired mice yeah. is that if the wired mice... Now, if some let's say let's say I know how many people are out there that has really messy desks at work. Okay, you got something on your mouse, like you have a like your like I put my computer like if I lift up my computer, put it down, my mouse cord the computer sits on the mouse cord, and I try and pull it out, and, and it doesn't. Lose, yeah, it, yeah, it'll get stuck under the computer. It's like oh my god. So I like the wireless for that better, but yeah. I don't like replacing the batteries. Exactly. All right, uh, keyboards now. Yeah, Key keyboards. I I like the wireless keyboards, but I use the keyboard a lot more than the mouse. I know all the short. I know most of the shortcuts, and I, so I use the keyboard a lot more than I use a mouse. Keyboards. So I would rather I'd rather use a key a wired keyboard because then I would use up less battery. battery. But yeah. keyboards are much more efficient with battery. They're much more efficient with battery. But the thing is, is that mice are much more wireless mice are much more useful with laptops. Yeah. People use them for laptops. Yeah, but you'll people have don't need a wireless then. keyboard for a laptop because there's already a keyboard there. A wireless yeah. uh, keyboard there already. So, yeah, but wireless keyboards for a PC, you yeah. or even external for a laptop if yours broke or something. I mean, they're okay. They use up a lot less battery life than mouses. They don't have a lot of bugs. Mice. Just, mou mouses. Whatever. Mice, whatever. whatever. Okay. They, they use a lot less battery life, and they're... They don't. They well, don't have bugs. They don't have yeah, any. I know. They all have bugs. No, but, they but, don't really but, have bugs. No, they all. They all have bugs, some way or another. But, um, the thing is that with the wireless keyboard, the next thing with your wireless keyboard is that you often, any kind of wireless, you lose a connection with the weather. So like. With the weather. Well, oh yeah. With like if it's raining outside. If it's raining outside, even though you are inside. Or you could be outside, but you could be inside, and it it could have an effect on the wireless connection. So yeah, that's junky. that's kind of a downside. So. Um. Let's talk about internet next. Okay. Wireless, yeah. Wireless router. Internet. Wireless router. Your network. You take your network line, plug it into a switch. Uh, for a router. Port. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I'm talking. The, I'm starting from scratch. I'm talking. You plug it into a uh, one into the switch, one into the computer. And then you take one and you plug it into the wireless router. Most of people, it's not a switch, it's a modem. But yeah, yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, I know. Most I, people don't yeah, have switches. I know. I know. So, so, yeah. Yeah, you plug it into the wa router, and there, when you install the program, you can um, add a encryption key. Now, you probably are going to want that encryption key because people can hack the wireless, can hack your wireless internet. Because I, I thought know we were talking. I thought you were talking about wired. We're talking about wireless versus wired. I know, but you're like you plug it into a switch, and then it's wired. So with a wireless, you want a web key. Yeah, you no, want a web key. It is wired. It is wired into the computer. But if you take your laptop and use the wireless, okay. With both, though, I would both recommend a high, a dedicated firewall for both for wireless and wired because yeah. it's much well, harder. In your to router, hack. there is some sort of there is protection. Uh, protection. Yeah, there's protection in your And then router. you can also web it, which is another password, yeah. it, which stops people from yeah. coming in without yeah. breaking the because password. Because when people, when you use your wireless internet, when you pl play with your, when you open it with your laptop, you, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm into my internet. But other people get in your internet, too, and they can see your network. They could all, it, they, Windows has made it harder for people to do it, but you can still do it. But yeah, it's, but it, wepping it stops them. Wepping it, it stops to get them. There's uh, a way around that. But it's usually a it's, simple. Yeah. It's usually a simple password anyway. But uh, it's just, usually a seven or twenty-eight. But usually the amateur people who just go around looking for non-webbed wireless 
Hell. Yeah, not me. So th <laughs> they just go around looking for non-web wireless, and yours could be, and most people don't even hack you. For the most part, people just jump on the wireless user bandwidth, slow yeah, your computer down. Yeah, for the most part. But there are those people that look there, and then they they're literally go around looking for stuff like uh, your password. For like, I know Microsoft. They can um, send if you for like Firefox. It's so easy. All they have to do is go into your computer, go into Firefox, and then they can see your passwords right in this right in your security and if you're, in your settings. If you're typing something, packets get sent to the wireless and back. With Wireshark or any simple program yeah, off the internet, yeah. internet, you can yeah, actually you just actually, open up they can packets. See what they're doing. Yeah. yeah, you can open up packets, look at passwords, look at everything that you're doing. Yeah, and so it's, it's very no, important. And no web problem wireless. without when there's no web key. It's just like you can connect right there. Yeah, public so, networks. It's a different story. Public networks. If it's actually a public network, they have ways of protecting themselves against you. Uh, public way. Yeah. Public and networks are like uh, when, like when we were talking about the smooth law in the first segment, you can open up a thing called ports. So there's one port that's closed, so they won't let people in. A next port where it is entirely open, so it will let people in. Yeah. But and yeah, just make sure. Make sure. I would prefer to have the wireless. I prefer to have the wireless because there's a web. Okay. Okay. We have two minutes left in the segment, and so our next, are, yeah. our next, next week's shows are going to be. Microsoft Office 2007. And laptops versus desktop. Which one's better? Now, Microsoft Office 2007, we're going to have to cut it short because there's not going to, not unless we decide to take up the entire show with Office 2007. Yeah, it's, there's a lot to talk there's about. A lot, it's there's crappy. A lot. It still sucks. But there's still new features. It. It's a little more confusing. But yeah, it's just to explain to people. As far as when a laptop versus desktop goes, the desktop versus the laptop. Why would you prefer to have a laptop versus a desktop? We'll probably talk about the same stuff we just talked about with the wireless versus wired. Exactly. Okay. Okay. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Yep.